What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I get this flawless makeup look using this amazing foundation by our sponsor today, She Glam. I absolutely love this look, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm starting off with a bare face. As you can see, my face is freshly washed and moisturized. I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I know a lot of people like to do this step last, but honestly, the brows frame the face. So I'm going to be using this edge control. Yes, I said edge control. I'm going to be using this on my brows to shape them and put them upwards. My brows go kind of crazy, so I always need some type of like pomade or something. And honestly, edge control is made for hair, eyebrows, it's hair. Okay, it works. <laughs> Um, so now before I fill in my brows or do them, I'm going to be shaping them. I didn't get a chance to really do my brows, so I'm just shaping them a little bit so that it doesn't look crazy. And before I fill them in, I'm actually going to clean them up with some concealer. So the concealer I'm using here is just by Too Faced, which I will show a little later. Um, but I'm just using a straight edge brush and I'm just doing the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to just use a regular blending brush and just blend that out. And so I do this step before because sometimes I realize that when I fill them in before, I kind of like overdo it. So I like to fill them in last now. I'm going to be taking this dip brow. This is by Benefit. And I'm just going to be filling in my tail because I've really been liking the little bushy like natural brow. Um, so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. And I'm just using concealer as my primer today. I love using concealer as my primer because it cancel out any of like my dark spots if I have some on my eyelid and it just gives a flat base so I'm gonna be using this one size beauty pencil this is an eye pencil and I'm going to be drawing a wing on my eyelid and we're gonna be using this as our leader we're gonna be following this guide I'm gonna be using the house labs uh, stupid love palette and I'm gonna be using this grayish brown shade inside of the palette I absolutely love this color and I'm going to be taking a small little pencil brush and I'm gonna be blending out that eyeliner that we just put down so what we really want is just kind of like a smoked out eyeliner look so I'm just pulling my eye to make sure that I really get in that eyeliner and really, really, really blend it out. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and take that same eyeshadow color and I'm just going to blend it out a little more. We don't want this line harsh. We want this really smoky and really blown out. As you can see, that uh, gray eyeshadow has like a red undertone, which I absolutely love because it just looks so natural and just so like I kind of put more eyeshadow than I did. It actually does the work for me, so I'm super happy about that. Um, so I'm going back in with that pencil eyeliner. Um, I would recommend you do this with pencil, not liquid, because obviously liquid is liquid. And then I'm going to take this MAC eyeshadow, which I will list down below. And I'm going to put this on the front part of my eye and everywhere else that I didn't put any brown eyeshadow and that's just gonna blend everything in and honestly that was a super quick like eye makeup look i swear i absolutely love this look and so we're gonna start moving on so i'm gonna clean up my eyes and i'm gonna be using the lawless primer and this is for my face this is super hydrating and i'm using this because today we're gonna be using a super hydrating foundation so I'm going to be using the She Glam Skin For Night Hydrating Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I am in the color Cappuccino and this foundation is so amazing and I'm going to show you exactly why. First off, it's only $9. Now, sometimes it can be really hard to find a foundation for your skin type, but trust me, if you have dry skin, you absolutely want this foundation 110%. I need you guys to actually see this transformation that I'm about to show you right now. So I'm putting this foundation all over my face and I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend this in. Can you guys please watch how this foundation literally melts into my skin? It looks like I have absolutely nothing on. I was shocked. I was absolutely blown away. And I can honestly say this might be one of my favorite foundations because when I put this foundation on, not only did it stay on all day, it stayed matte. 
and I'm a dry girl. And so once I put my powder on, it didn't make me crack or it didn't get oily, which sometimes you have to like deal with with certain foundations. Sometimes it doesn't have like a happy medium, but this foundation was so great to my skin. So I only used two pumps to cover my entire face. And one thing that I did do was wait about like five minutes before I put on my concealer because I wanted to see if it was gonna oxidize and it actually stayed the same, you guys. I was blown away. It looks like I have on nothing. Like, wow, like this will be great for a 10 minute makeup routine. So I actually have a discount code. My discount code is it's Aaliyah and you can use the link down below in my description box to get this foundation with my code. Make sure you enter it. So let's move on now. I'm gonna be using some Too Faced multi-use concealer. I absolutely love this concealer and I really felt like this concealer, since it's hydrating, would go great with the foundation. You have to use products that are super compatible with each other and I was like, okay, this is gonna go perfect with each other. So I put Put this under my eyes on my chin and above my lip and I let that sit for probably about like two minutes and this is just me showing you the concealer this is exactly what I used on my eyelids as primer as well and once that has sat a little bit I'm going to use that beauty blender and blend it out I absolutely love this color on me um, but once I blend this out I'm also going to brighten it up which I'll show you guys a little later so I'm being super gentle, but as you can see, this concealer is blending so amazing with this foundation. I, I, I cannot believe that this foundation looks this great. Like, and they, all, they have 30 shades, like wow, 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 wow amazing so i'm gonna be using the mac 24 hour concealer and as you can see this is a really bright color i'm going for a super 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 glam look today so i'm also going to be contouring and i'm going to be using the hourglass foundation stick to contour um and i'm going to be letting that uh 24 hour matte concealer sit for a little bit like i did with the Too faced one and um, with the contour, I'm going to be blending that out with an angle kabuki brush. So here's a big tip that a lot of makeup artists don't tell you and that you can use to get your makeup really flawless. All the products that you use should be working for you and with each other. So every product that I use is hydrating. Um, I knew I was using hydrating foundation today. So every single concealer, every single primer, every single contour was hydrating. It all has to work together. So here I am using some concealer and this is to cut my cheekbones. As I said, I'm going for a super glam look. So I want that really, really, really high cheekbone look. I don't always do this step, but I do this step when I just know like I'm trying to go in, you know? So um, I took that foundation, I mean the concealer and blended it out. And now I'm gonna use the rest of the foundation that's on the back of that beauty blender and I'm gonna blend it out. And so now that the concealer has sat, I'm going to blend this out thoroughly and I also use the back of the beauty blender with the leftover foundation to make sure that the edges were blended as you can see it is super highlighted like oh my god so 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 highlighted and I absolutely love this um, I don't use this concealer often but I'm gonna definitely use it more often now when I'm going for a super like glam look and I'm just going back in with that contour brush that I was blending everything out with to make sure that, you know, everything is just all blended together and it's no lines. So now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier setting powder. And I absolutely love this powder because it works really well with dry skin. So here's a big tip. If you have dry skin or let's say oily skin, get a foundation that works with your skin. So I have dry skin, so I have to get a hydrating foundation. So now that I know I have a hydrating foundation, every single product that I use has to also be hydrated. And this powder is also hydrated. But um, I absolutely love, love, love love using all hydrating products together because they just blend really really well and work really well together especially for this winter this winter is like so crazy I'm literally like on the east coast right now so it is so cold and I need all the hydration I can get so I'm setting everywhere on my face and I'm switching brushes. I use a certain brush for my under eye because I needed a little more, um, 
in place and then for my face I'm gonna be using a thinner brush so now I'm going over my contour with some contour powder and I'm just setting that in place so as you can see, I look really matte, and that's the exact look I'm going for. So off camera, I put on mascara and lashes, and now I'm using that same brown eyeshadow that I used at the top, and I'm going to be using that on my bottom eyelid. Well, lash line, I guess you can say. We don't really have a bottom eyelid. And then I'm going to be going in with this Marc Jacobs pencil, and it's a baby blue pencil, but it really comes off like nude and so i was kind of feeling that i was like yeah um but honestly what do you guys think about the white waterline that i've been doing this is like my third time doing it this week and i'm not sure how i feel about it let me know down below what you guys think about it sometimes i think it looks great sometimes i like get scared because it's like i don't know it makes your eyes open and pop so let me know what you guys think about it. So now I'm going in with some NARS blush and this is just, you know, straightforward. Just putting on some blush, nothing really to it. No tricks here. <laughs> and now I'm going to go in with that same powder brush that I made sure I made everything matte and set with. And I'm just going to make sure everything is just all blended together and blended out and not too harsh or saturated. And so now we move on to lips. So I'm using a MAC lip liner, and this is in the color Cork. And as you know, Cork is super popular. Um, so I'm making sure I overdraw my top lip. As you guys know, I always do this. But one thing I'm going to make sure I do is really, really, really blend out that lip line. This is going to give us that blown out effect and just give us a natural, like, a natural look that we want. Well, at least that's what I want. And I'm also going to do the corners of my lip and I'm just going to rub that in and make sure I really blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with a nude lipstick. Nothing really to it. And then I'm going to go over it with a lip gloss. This is See Through by MAC. And I absolutely love this lip color. Absolutely love. And this was the finish and final look. After this, I did my hair. And this is how it all came out. What do you guys think? I absolutely love this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am so happy I'm back to glamming. And if you want all of these products, including the She Glam Foundation, make sure you guys check my description box. Thank you so much, She Glam, for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.